Hey CB Bears, as we gear up to request courses for the next school year, I just want to take a brief moment and cover the high school graduation requirements. In order to graduate from high school, you need to earn 24 credits. This means you need to take and earn a grade of a D or above in 48 classes throughout your high school career. You will earn 0.5 credit for every class you take and pass. If you take six classes every semester in high school and pass each one, you will earn three credits at the end of the semester, six credits at the end of the year, and 24 credits at the end of your four years of high school. On top of earning the 24 credits towards graduation, you also need to meet one of the graduation pathway options required by the state. Your school counselor is familiar with all these options and will work with students to find the best possible pathway. You also need to complete a high school and beyond plan. This plan is developed over the four years of high school by completing various lessons in our career exploration program called Zello. Some of you might be wondering how many credits you have right now. In order to find out how many credits you have, you can log into PowerSchool on a computer or Chromebook. Unfortunately, you cannot access the credit feature on the mobile app. Once you are logged in, you can find the grade history link on the left hand side. Once you click this link, you will find a View Graduation Progress button on the right-hand side. This will take you to a screen where you will find a column that says Earned. The bold number at the top should reflect the number of credits you currently have at this point in your high school career. If you are a current junior, you should have a minimum of 15 credits to be on track to graduate. If you are a current sophomore, you should have a minimum of 9 credits, and a current freshman should have a minimum of 3 credits to be on track to graduate. If you have failed a class in high school, you may be credit deficient. If you have less than the minimum credits stated on the previous slide, you are considered to be off track for graduation. If you are finding yourself in this situation, please work with your counselor to develop a plan to get back on track. Some credit retrieval options are summer school, online courses outside the school day, or if you are going to be a junior or senior, your counselor may place you in a credit retrieval class. Regardless of your situation, your counselor is here to help. As a part of completing 24 credits, you need a specific number of credits in each content area. 17 credits are composed of core credits that all students are required to take. Four credits are considered to be elective credits, and three credits fall in the category of Personalized Pathway Requirements, or PPRs. Elective credits are accumulated by taking more courses than the required amount in a certain content area. For example, if you take three credits of science for graduation and you decide to take a fourth credit in your senior year, the fourth credit is actually an elective credit. Two credits of world language and an extra one credit of fine arts are considered the PPRs. These three credits are the only courses that can be individualized for a student's personalized pathway. Here is a visual of the previous slide that, can, that explains how all your credits add up to the 24 credits. As you can see, the green boxes represent the PPR courses that can be swapped out for other courses that align with your personalized pathway. At this time, I would like to show you how to keep track of your credits. Please feel free to log back into PowerSchool on a computer or Chromebook and click the grade history link. At the top of the screen, you will find tabs for every year you have been in high school. Start at the very first year of high school and click that tab. Scroll down to the very bottom and you will see S1 and S2 grades for that school year. Go through each tab to review all your classes and grades. This is a great way to determine which classes you have taken and passed throughout high school. In order to keep track of which classes you've completed and which classes you have left for graduation, here are two different tools that students can use to help with this process. On the right hand side, you will see that this is a graduation credit check form. This form can be printed off our website or from the Google Classroom for your graduating class. Once you have printed the form, you can start checking off the classes you have passed from the Great History page in PowerSchool. On the left hand side, you will see the graduation progress screen as shown before. The dark green bars mean you have completed that graduation requirement. The lighter green bar means that you are currently taking courses that fill that requirement, and the white bar means you still need to meet that requirement. Now, 
These tracking systems are not perfect and we have found some errors along the way, but for the most part, students can get a general idea of where they are at with fulfilling their graduation requirements. If you have any questions or concerns about your progress toward graduation, please make an appointment with your counselor. In summary, now that you have reviewed what you have taken, you can start preparing for what you need to take for the next grade level. As mentioned before, if you have failed any classes, work with your counselor on the best way to get caught up. While this information may feel overwhelming, just know that your counselor is working alongside you to make sure you, you are taking the classes you need to graduate. We want all students to have the understanding of their graduation requirements, but you are not alone in figuring this out. Each year, we will review the graduation requirements at registration time. We will have them posted on our website, and you can always schedule a meeting to go over your plans with your counselor. If you have any questions or concerns about registering for the next school year, please reach out to your counselor as soon as possible. Thank you.